we're going to go around and kind of introduce ourselves. Cool. Um, just so you all know who we are. We have our name tags here. But um, I'll start. My name is Joseph Hood. I'm the finance chair for Senate this year. So I'm the one you all getting a lot of emails from, a lot of information from. And we'll start with Trey over here on the right. He's doing that. So. All right. Uh, I'm Trey Miller. I'm the vice president of finance for the executive branch. So I'll be sitting in the morning as well. Uh, that's really all I have, I guess. I'm so well. Um, you just have to first time. But I'm senator for the Little Arms Caucus. I'm Chad. I'm just hey, Chad. And then uh, I'm off campus senator. I'm Chase. I'm um, off campus senator as well. Um, I'm Adam. I'm an engineering senator. I'm Greg. Uh, I'm an off campus senator as well. I don't know about you, but I'm Aaron, serving in the industry. Aaron. So I'm Josiah Zed. I'm um, the chair this year for Mustard. And I'm Cynthia Arlesetron, and I'm the finance chair. So anyway, I hope I remember all your names after this, but uh, I'll try. Well, there's a link here. There's a what? Finance. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Use the fancy word for it. All right, so we'll go ahead and do our presentation. Is that cool with everyone? Yeah, absolutely. Just so go with it, and then um, we'll hold our questions till the end, and then we'll have some questions for y'all. Um, I might actually ask y'all a question now about form. Yeah. Um, did y'all fill out a 2016 fiscal year form? I know Judy Bean sent one out, but I didn't, we never got that. Um, particularly. We have y'all's budget. We have y'all's budget. Okay, see, I think that's what we thought the, the fiscal budget was. We, we thought the yeah. form that was sent to us by y'all. Okay. Um, and that the one from uh, the budget and the presentation. We call those line checklist of three yeah. as well. Okay, well, we'll just, when, we're, when this is over with, I just want that from y'all. So I'll, okay. I'll show y'all where that form is. Um, if there's some kind of mix up, I'll double check with y'all and make sure that we get that. Okay, because we, we, we're not making a decision on budget and same custom. I think it's so like maybe on Friday. Okay, we're just gathering all the information. Yeah, I can do so, that. Yeah, absolutely. I would really appreciate it. Just for clarification, um, with any else budget here, so it says Student Government Association budgeted 6,238. Is that what y'all would be requesting? That's what we got last year. Yes. Sorry. So after, okay. this is yeah, our budget from last year. Oh, so that's your last year's budget. Right? Yes. And this is your proposal. Yeah, we haven't created our entire budget until we get our new actual like. Okay. Actual absolutely. Budget. Yeah. All right. Want to start so, with it? Yeah. Awesome. Run, please. All right. So make sure you already done. So we're going to break it up into three areas. Y'all requested that, you know, I think every organization has a different terminology for it, but we kind of broke it up really easy with an operations program in this line. So first operations, this is more like behind the scenes stuff, um, things that we're doing throughout the year to just uh, like, you know, make sure the students you know, know what muster is and uh, the ceremony itself and a bunch of other things. But I'll let Santi describe the breakdown for it. Yes, yeah, so basically uh, in the breakdown you can see that uh, the general costs that uh, communities on SGA have, such as phone lines and personal services, uh, we have that allocated for the next year. Um, we have printing and copying. The Muster Committee does a lot of printing as far as just information sheets, whether it's like for committee retreats or um, flyers, roll call family letters, and donations, donation things. Um, we print all of that out. Um, supplies and materials are basically think to restock our cube or for binders for the execs as well as the, the rest of the committee. Uh, we have stationary items, which is used for mainly uh, the things that we correspond with the families, for letterheads, thank you notes, welcome packets, and RSVP codes. So in total for the operations, uh, we're requesting $1,958. So we're going to go to programming next. Um, this is more of so I said awareness of operations is another thing, how we get out to student body programming is the things we do, the programs we put on um, to make students like appreciate the tradition throughout the year, um, especially with like a large student body. Y'all know that well, I'm sure you'll do with all kinds of things for a student body. A lot of people don't come here solely for like the tradition today anymore, so this is more aimed at pushing that in their heads. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the first three things that we have are focused on advertising and getting muster out there to the student body, whether it's general advertising that we can use that are things that are intangible um, for the student body, whether it's just like uh, sandwich boards or um, social media advertising. We also have cost for banners and flyers, which can be seen like outside of folders, or we use them as well and in the spring semester for the host awareness week and the spring awareness week, which is for the current student body. Um, 
the last layer is promotional items such as flyers and things that we hand out to the student body, whether it's last year we did um, descriptions of like a couple of students that were being honored and just general information trying to encourage people to go to the ceremony or just inform them of what muster is because there's surprisingly so many students that are very unaware of what why we do muster or what or that it even exists. Um, next you can see us uh, uh, speaker fees. Um, every year we bring in a speaker for the ceremony. Uh, that speaker has not been selected yet so we do not exactly know who it is but sometimes the speaker can be someone that's in town or someone like last year as like we heard that was in DC. So that, that cost right there is basically if the speaker needs um, needs help paying for like a hotel or travel expenses, we like to have that money there in case they need it uh, aid from us. Uh, right lower below that you can see a food cost. Um, this is for the speaker dinner that committee hosts a couple of days before muster. And that is to honor the speaker and thank them for taking the time to not only prepare a, a speech and just come go out of their way and their busy schedules to come give a message to the student body because the things that they say that night are, are things that have the potential to resonate with thousands upon thousands of Aggies and, and that message can, can enhance their Aggie experience in so many ways. Uh, lastly, we have other, which is basically just to cover the costs for security at the reflection display that we have a couple of days um, before my year. So in total, that we're requesting $4,780. Last miscellaneous. Lastly, miscellaneous, we just have a $90 request for MSC Open House in the spring and the fall semester. So this is the budget part, short. Yeah, just should be clear. Uh, I kind of told them what y'all had. Uh, so, totally all requesting is six thousand eight hundred twenty-eight dollars. Yes. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna get that out of the way after all this yeah. page. Um, this for me, Ed, asking, um, can I go back to your, I guess it's your programming slide. Yeah. For advertising, what did y'all do last year versus like what you have planned to do this year? How's the money break down? For which particular, it's just the advertising part for the media ads and that? Yeah, so we're all three in general. Just for, well, I guess all three. Not so I think banners and promotion. Banners seems pretty self mm -hmm. really. Yeah. But uh, I guess what do y'all have in mind for using the 735 and 424? So, as far as this coming year, the, the things that we're going to do as far as advertising aren't set in stone yet because um, we don't have a committee yet and uh, there will be like awareness coordinators that plan out what they want to do um, for this coming year. Uh, so as far as last year, there was just a promotional items that we used were like giving away cups, um, pens, we did chapstick. Mm -hmm. We've done various things in the past. I know we've done uh, the, the things that go in the car window first, smell, scent, things. Air fresh. Yeah, air fresh, yeah. that word. Uh, yes, um, so, so that's just a general example. Is there a way that y'all came up with 735 specifically? Last year's. Okay, so that's just We basically budget a way for them to come up with creative ideas to get as many little things as they can out there that people might use. I think it must be throughout the year, and that's what they used last year, so that's what they used this year again. Okay. Potentially more of a try to keep them in the budget of that. But. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. And this may not necessarily be something I can answer. Um, so you talked about like wanting to do, like this before you began, uh, making uh, in a more like a tradition based school, kind of like, you know, helping. Students that come here maybe not based off of AM's traditions, like that's not something that they love, but you want to help them learn to love it. Uh, in what ways uh, can you promote that among the student body? Like, if you know, um, are you speaking specifically for budget or just like ways in general? Yeah, well, yeah, I'd say, wait, like, how does your budget correlate with helping people love tradition? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of ties in programs and operations. So, operations link a little bit more towards the things we do, programming is more towards getting that out to them. And so everything we do, like the ceremony, the reflections display, especially this week reading apps, people who apply for committee. The awesome thing about Muster Committee is like, there are people from all over campus. I've never heard of half these people, more than half the people that are applying before. And there are people who have been touched by the reflections display or the ceremony last year. And a lot of them talk about not even having heard of it until they were given a pin on campus or was told about a host wearing a t-shirt in the hallway. So, 
you know, all these things that we're like, you know, purchasing and getting out to the body are like all these students, um, a lot of students who have no idea about what it is beforehand end up attending a ceremony and are moved by it or end up walking in their reflections display and reading stories about someone who maybe had a class with them. We had one girl, um, a girl on Zeta, the sorority, write something about um, one of her sisters stood up at their meeting in their reflections display and they had like this pink ribbon campaign. And she said, I saw this on one of the backpacks today, someone in their reflections display. And like that means one of you in this room gave it to her earlier this year, whether you knew it or not. Like you had an impact on the school and her. And so that was just kind of cool. And both of those girls like you know promoted mustard to their entire story because of that. So all these little things that we do. Now that was Ada's pink ribbon, but it, all the things we hand out to you are kind of bringing them to those events. Hope that helps. Yeah, that's <clears throat> a good question. Um, so last year for printing and copying, if y'all want to go back to operations and possible. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> Don't worry about it. So last year for printing and copying, I believe y'all actually requested the same amount y'all requesting this year, which is nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and we gave six hundred dollars. Is how much we were able to allocate to y'all. Um, can y'all testify to how that six hundred? Did y'all run out? What what did we, that process kind of look like? Yeah. So we we ended up bringing a lot of things on our own at Coffee Corner, and our exec team would just go swap our credit card and not care because it's close to mustard and you know whatever. Sometimes you just take it up. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely ran out of like printer budget from SGA and just kept going. So yeah, I was trying to piggyback on that because I'm just looking at what y'all sent us and there was like five hundred dollars left to that. Um, which is okay, but I mean I am gonna be the guy that's talking you know, yeah, yeah. to you know for the The issue that we would have with it, like we can have left over so that's kind of a waste of the student fees on our side, you know. So we want to make sure if that's gonna happen for all of them, like we'd rather you know be upfront about that and say, all right, well what can we you know use that money? Or job better, or then you're pretty better for someone like that's going to be out. Yeah. So, do you think realistically $900 is what you'll need for training, or do you think that, I think out here it said less than $123, so should we go $300? So, we didn't we end up just spending it from the SGA, because I know we spent a ton on printing, I just didn't realize if we didn't use the SGA. So, you can print copy, it says on here, uh, I guess of the 600, like the yeah. CA line, 600 is 123 is used. Is that coming from this year? No, this is one they all sent us, I think. Because maybe this is not the right one. If it's a color code, it is. Probably yeah, this is what I've got here. It's a color code. There's also another one that's copy charges, <laughs> which is yearly, which also has a budget of 480 and then a use of 372.77. So between those. That was last year's finance. Yeah, between those, that's about $500 that we all used. Yeah. I'm not sure if last year's finance, I'm sorry for this, is up to yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure to that point. But I know that, like, as far as printing goes, we, we print non stop. A lot of it is straight towards toner. So I don't even know if it's counted under that and, like, from receipts. But yeah. we buy toner for the printer in the mustard cube and we buy paper for that non stop all year. I know, just this this summer, whenever we were still trying to use up the remainder, I went to buy toner myself and a bunch of printing supplies um, just to basically keep it in stock for this coming year. So, so, was this budget, so was this budget that y'all made or was this budget that was handed down to y'all made? That one, it, it was handed out from last year. So, it, it, so that's where probably a lot of the toners and that kind of thing came from. Was, but because y'all did, did well with your money, you only left $42.50 yeah. mm -hmm. when we were printing the applications. Yeah, so, so that's what we tried to do at the end to make sure we didn't waste the money. So like those kinds of things like just buying paper to, that we know we're going to end up using. It. And we, I bought like three sets of toner. I know that we're going to end up using it throughout the year. So you didn't use all our allocations during last year for printing and design? Yeah, so the last year, I think we ended up just going to copy corner too much and not using what she had allocated for printing or we should have done the printing because like we still printed way more than that money. But last year, there wasn't a focus on, from the exec team to make sure it was used through SGA money. And a lot of students went out of pocket for it. Because the benefits of our money is that it is tax free. Yeah. So that would have saved y'all. So what's the benefit of going? Can you explain to me the difference of printing it out of y'all's allocation versus going to copy corner? And why one would like to say the risk you could go to copy corner as opposed to just probably just timing. Yeah, just convenience of being able to do it quickly. Okay. Because um, when it get, gets down to like a couple of days before my share, things need to get printed out. So we're not going to send it prior and then just wait and then we'll pick it up rather than having mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, and also printing and cutting are two separate things, and those are uh you can pay for half of that, but if you do it all in the same place, it's kind of mainstream. So a lot of a lot of the things we do are cut in certain ways, 
And instead of printing them all with SGA, we would just, and then bringing them to get cut for, you know, half of what we pay at Coffee Corner, we just print and get cut to Coffee Corner. So, yeah, we definitely focused focus more this year on using all that. We definitely spend more than that in printing, but I guess we didn't make sure it was all SGA that last year. And just another general question, where do y'all get your estimates for this? Um, for example, with stationary items, so they're almost positive, because I went through this last year, that the money requested this year is identical to the money that was requested last year. And so did y'all just take last year's and bring it forward again? Is that kind of how y'all did this? And this year, we were told by that, like, they used exactly that amount, and looking at the past, that's what they pointed to us too when we were going through it. So we said, we don't need to get any more for that. Hopefully, you know, the price of the letterhead doesn't go up in the economy, and those are the same. Absolutely, because our concern is because last year, I'm not obviously this is last year, and y'all are this year. And I don't want to overdo um, to like like I'm going after y'all for anything along those lines because last year these things were brought forward, and we cut 300 from printing and copying supplies, and materials. We cut 100 in stationery. We cut 55, and that's mainly like Trey was talking about because we do have other communities that we're having to work with. And y'all are one of the larger committees. Y'all do get one of the largest allocations that we put out. And so when we're looking at smaller committees that do need that money more to operate, I guess you could say, um, we have to look for a place to cut. And so I'm, I'm asking y'all to just, if y'all have, I guess, better justification for some of this or better numbers as to where y'all kind of get these numbers, that'll help us understand, be able to understand why you're requesting this much. Yeah, yeah. so y'all have like any priorities that y'all would say are like, you know, the number one things y'all definitely need money for. The only point those after this now is we're going to be doing that kind of analysis regardless when we go through. So we're going to make sure that when we send y'all the money, we all get what y'all absolutely need. Right. No, I understand. Um, I guess looking at it, uh, the stationary one, even though it might be the same as last year, that was pretty important because that's that's what we send all of our official stuff on, and that costs a lot more than regular regular paper and what's happening. Um, the printing one, I think the from is it on this one still? Yeah, printing and copying. I think that's accurate, but at the same time, it might even be low. But at the same time, we didn't use it from SGA last year. So um, if we happen to have community members who are willing to go out of pocket again, then that one might be cut a little. But like, you know, I guess we'll focus a lot more on this year, trying to make sure everyone knows, trying to spend your own money on these things, especially if they're like something that we've asked them to print for that person. So, can y'all have your own program? You in, you're buying. in the queue, in, or sorry, in the, I don't know what the official name of that office is, <laughs> in the area. Okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the printing things we do is buying toner and buying paper ourselves and getting reimbursed for that. So that money is just, I guess things you all use, like you said, don't need to be specialized cuts or anything like that, you can just print out one of those from that from yourself. Right. Okay. But that, like I said, that's definitely within this office, so it's depending on y'all's time being. You know? mm -hmm. right. Because y'all have binders for each and every. Or you have a package for each other panel that comes, correct? And that's a big that's a big reason that your printing costs are so high. The actually so we do have stuff we print out for every family, but we have printing stuff like across the board. So mm -hmm. for host applications, um, we have usually around six hundred people kind of apply for hosts and it's application for each of them. That's already a stack of paper. Um you know, just this like the committee applications and then all of the a lot of the printing for you know um, everything we send out to families throughout the year, seating cards, correspondence. Um, a lot of older families don't like to send emails, so they get, we do letters back and forth. Um, there's just a lot of those printing things throughout the year. So, and it really, yeah, we have this last year, what, 130 on the roll call mm -hmm. for that. So, another question I have for y'all, this is kind of based off what I remember from last year in y'all's presentation from then. Was uh, that we're coming up on, and I don't know if you've ever hit this or if it's coming up still, is the uh, anniversary. Women were inducted. Was that this past year? So, okay, I worked in the reunion stuff for the last couple of years. Yeah. So, um, women were admitted as general admittance in 1964. Okay. So, that is the year when freshman women were admitted as general. Women have been at AM since 1903 on special circumstance scenarios. Sisters of professors or other faculty, yeah. daughters, others. So the reason I asked is I remember last year they were emphasizing that there was going to be an increase in the hours that you're going to have to do. But it's basically your enrollment double at that point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So enrollment didn't double right away, but um, well, yeah, that was, was high, high yeah, yeah. Within, I think within like a ten year span of that, it did. So yeah. it starts getting a lot bigger starting in this era. So like the late sixties are when, yeah. um, like, they started to really jump. Um, one thing that is happening this year though is this: is it the seventieth anniversary of Corridor? 
So the picture, you know the famous picture that the Mustard Creed or this is the 70th, 70th anniversary of that. And so a lot of people from the association have been trying to incorporate um, something into the ceremony this year before we're talking to them about like making it happen because we think it's important as well to uh, to honor you know everyone who's in that picture and everyone who's in Creed or so and some of them are probably coming back to campus. So that's gonna be a, and there's like a display being made uh, in the association as well. So that's a um, that's going to be another factor. That and, like you said, women. Yeah. I should know how that initially took the thing, which y'all are requesting here. And if, if I'm missing something, just point it out to me, please, because I'll make sure. Because so that's one thing we want to make sure to help you with, because that's a legitimate concern that you worry about him. In fact, uh, Speaker Mitchell, his grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that your grandfather? Is it the picture? Wow. Awesome. That is. Have you talked to the association at all about it? Oh, I've not. Yeah. Um, he's on like their list or you know, where they send out stuff. I tried to get him to go to uh, Craig Ward. Was it this, this last semester? This last semester is when it, uh, they did the ceremony there for Yeah, I tried to get him to go. He's, I mean, he's not going to go. He's going to have to for me to go around. Yeah. 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 Maybe he can come to the campus when it's not too far. I, I think he'll be here. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's, that's just exciting having someone like that. Yeah, yeah. it would come. Crazy thing to that. <laughs> does, uh, does anyone else have any other questions? Yeah, uh, I mean, just kind of echo what uh, they said. It's really important for you guys um, to highlight, like, if you, if you send us another email or, like, if you need to review your budget or anything, just what uh, is, like, you, what you desperately need. Um, kind of what just said, you guys are a great committee. Uh, we love you guys, we appreciate you guys. Um, but when it comes down to it, there are other smaller committees who actually have a higher need for money than we do. Uh, but we want to support you, and we want you to know that you have our support. And like we're saying, too, we're grilling you for reasons. Mm -hmm. like, like we're, yeah. to be we're doing this every day. Yeah, so, you're fine. We don't have to grill too bad. Okay, yeah. so, we understand. Yeah. Like I said, y'all have been, just based on what we've seen on y'all, you know, I don't travel that much, do it really well. So, yeah. Y'all are good stewards with our money. Sort of, which isn't always the case, so we appreciate that. And really, it's not even our money, it's actually, y'all are familiar that it's actually tuition, so it's actually like a dollar out of your pocket, yeah, every pocket, dollar out of my pocket. So, y'all are good stewards of students' money, and y'all do one a very important thing um, for the student body, and thank y'all for that. Because I know that y'all put in a ton of work, and I've seen the, the products we all played for the last two years, and so it's been amazing, and it's been a real honor to be part of that. Mm -hmm. and I just want to um, and you don't have any questions for us, or does anyone else have any questions on our side? This is the time to ask. I don't think we do. Yeah, the only thing is that, that one thing we're talking yeah, about. Just, yeah. just come talk to me after. Um, Trey and I will sit down with you, make sure it's really clear on what we're looking for. But we can just get that, because y'all already have the information on Skype for before. Um, and we can put that. Um, and it's attached to the email 3 being sent out. I believe yeah, it's just basically an Excel file, which I'll have up here. It should be. Yeah, all right. So it will not be a problem. But like I said, Fridays when the budget will actually be, um, will actually be sitting down as a group and starting to work through the budget and work through the. We got fourteen, fourteen of those before mm -hmm. requesting money, and so we'll work through all those, and making the tough decisions. So, so when will we find out? So it'll be put into a bill. It'll be put into a bill Friday. Okay, and then it'll be read the Wednesday afterwards, mm -hmm. and said that'll be our first reading. After that, they'll have to review it in committee for a week, and then the week after they review it. So two weeks after his first week, it will be up for approval. And that's so basically three weeks, weeks from Wednesday. It's so as soon as I can get approved. Yes. But when we have the bill, we have it put together on Friday. We're going to be sitting down to all the committees. So and, and usually, from what I've seen, after it's approved by the finance committee, first go around, it usually stays the same. Um, but it could change. And there's and I don't think y'all should have to worry about that too much, to be honest. Yeah, well, I don't the controversial committees. So. Yeah, if there's any extenuating circumstances or anything along those lines, um, and y'all see something that just like sticks out to you, like this is not right, it's something we didn't want. Yeah, we can yeah, that. Because there has been instances in the past of like committees that give signed money to pay the next one. Hey, just put a lobby in, you can take it to the next Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, somebody took a bite of that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. I love I love our speaker, but it's like the day before muster, and a lot of us want to be like, hey, 
we get stuff to do still. So, um, so <laughs> maybe put it, those are probably like pretty sunk costs, right? The sweep costs. Yeah, yeah, I would assume so. I just want to make sure they all do that. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm sure they do. But, uh, I mean, the, the, what they request for like speaker costs was the exact same that we gave them last yeah. year. Mm -hmm. Almost a fifteen. And the security from us, I'm assuming, will just hire security guards. Like that, just security. Yeah, actual like so professional, not just like buddy Jim from the dorm. You know? Okay. <laughs> for security guards, do you hire the local UPD? Is that how it works? Um, I have per function. I believe so. That'd be an yeah. Uh, yeah, so I need to ask the subscription that. I know it's uh, someone we hire from some area, but they're important. Well, I understand that it, it's from UPD. That we we do that. I was in charge of the barbecue last year, and that's who we went to. So I assume that per function. So that's probably a decent price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, Coins? any questions? Um, you want to go ahead and for us? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, you want to build a seat? I forgot what to get. I wouldn't have said cool. <laughs> 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 well,